In this video, we're going to learn how to add images to your PowerPoint. We do have several requirements for this PowerPoint, and one of them is that you have a certain number of images and clip art. So as I go to the slide that says my birthday, I want to include some images, and I want to include um, a picture of Akron, and I want to put uh, the PBS symbol because PBS was launched, public broadcasting uh, system was launched on my birthday, so I want to go ahead and put that picture. So what we need to do is we need to click on the Insert tab. We have a couple different things that we do. I could click, if I click Insert Pictures, what that would allow me to do is it would allow me to navigate to pictures that are saved on my desktop. that I can use and put on my presentation. But we don't need that picture of me canoeing. We want to go back to the insert and where we're going to be working is with the online pictures. Notice when I click on online pictures one of my choices is to do clip art and you do have a requirement to do clip art. And clip art is good but it is not as exhaustive as other uh, search tools such as Bing or Google Images. So I went and I clicked on the picture that I wanted and I clicked insert and it put a little picture of a doctor holding a baby because it is my birthday. I'm going to go back to the insert and this time I'm going to click on online pictures and notice this other choice that we have is the Bing search engine. Bing is similar to um, Google Images, except for it's by Microsoft, not Google. I searched for Akron. I'm going to put a picture of Akron right in here. I'm going to make this image smaller. And if I wanted to tilt it, I could do that right here, but I'm not going to. I want to put a picture of PBS. So the last way to do uh, images is to go to my favorite image site and that is Google. First thing we have to do is type it in correctly. Then we need to search for what we're looking for. So I am looking for PBS. And now I'm going to come over here to images and I'm going to find a PBS one. I like this one. But I can see as I arrow over that, that that is really huge and I don't want one that big. So we will go with, let's see, I like that one right there. I'm going to click on it. Actually, I don't want that one. Oh, I'll go with this one right here. So I'm going to click on view image. We want the entire image. So we click on view image. Then we right click, copy that image. I'm going to come back to my PowerPoint. I make sure nothing else is selected and now I can paste that image. I've got a problem here though. It's way too big. So I'm going to click and resize. Notice when I click and I resize that I am doing it on the, ed the corner. If I do it on one of the edges, I can make it too skinny. Or too fat. So we want to do it proportionally. Now as I look at this, you can see I have a gray background and I have this white area in my picture. There is something I can do about that and I can I can drop that color. So watch what I'm doing. I'm going to double click on the picture and then I'm going to come over here to color and then I'm going to click on set transparent color. And what that allows me to do is to get rid of one color. So wherever I click, it will drop that color. So now that white doesn't stand out as much and it fits in with my background. I still think it's a little bit big compared to the rest of the information. So I could always go and if I wanted to change the size of my font to make it stand out a little bit more. And that is how you work with images.